What's up guys, it's Takey Chris and I'm back here with another video. In this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the three main types of network engineers. When you get into any field, like any field in IT, um, there's going to be different parts of that field that you can kind of break into. For instance, if you are talking about cybersecurity, you can get into penetration testing, you can get into incident response, you can become a SOC analyst. There's many different types of sub-sector fields that you can break into and that holds true as well for network engineering. In this video I kind of want to go over the three main fields of network engineering. The first field that I will talk about and which is one of the more popular fields of network engineering is routing and switching. The routing and switching path tends to be the more traditional path that network engineers take. Most network engineers are primarily going to have a background of routing and switching. And overall this is really what you think of when you think about a network engineer. The people who handle routing and switching are pretty much the backbone of all networks inside of an organization. Like the name implies, these people deal with routing and switching within an organization, making sure that traffic gets from one place to the next place. Route switch engineers are typically going to be dealing a lot with routing protocols like OSPF, BGP, EIRGP, and pretty much any routing protocol that you can think of. The routing protocols that are used are pretty much subjective to whatever environment that you're working on. These guys are typically designing the whole entire enterprise and it's usually a team of them that are designing this enterprise. These guys are going to do everything from configuring the routing tables on specific switches within the organization. These are also the same people that are going to work with layer 2 technologies like creating port channels, creating VLANs on the switches, even things like STP, these are the people who are going to be handling that. Routing and switching is very versatile because you have the capability to work with technologies in the cloud you have the capability to work with security policies and you can even move into the data center space with routing and switching many route switch engineers work in data centers so overall it's really just a very versatile path of network engineering the next type of network engineer that I'm going to talk about is a wireless network engineer these are the people that help the Wi-Fi magic happen without the wireless people we would physically have to connect an Ethernet cable to every PC that we want to get on the network. Wireless allows us to join a Wi-Fi network and just connect seamlessly. These people tend to deal a lot with radio frequency, the placement of access points within an organization, and they tend to do a lot of their work inside of the wireless controllers. They also are very mindful of the interference that comes with wireless technology. You have to keep all of these kind of things in mind when they are building new sites and also expanding older sites. Wireless engineers are very important because when you walk into an organization and you connect to the Wi-Fi, you expect to have Wi-Fi no matter where you go to inside of that organization. No matter if you're at one end of the building and you need to go all the way to the other far end of the building, you want to have Wi-Fi throughout that time period that you're walking. And wireless engineers are the people who are making sure that there is an access point in every corner that extends to a, a far enough radius that you will have Wi-Fi wherever you are. Personally, as a network engineer, I've had the opportunity to work on both the route switch projects and wireless projects. And I I really do like the wireless aspect of things because on a day-to-day -day, you don't really take the time to appreciate the fact of how Wi-Fi actually works so when you get to build the Wi-Fi in an organization and see it work in real time it's a very good feeling. Wi-Fi and wireless engineers are a huge part of business operations in today's network. These days Wi-Fi is pretty much a standard to have in your organization and the wireless engineers are the people that are making this possible all behind the scenes. If you really enjoy theory and learning how Wi-Fi works from the beginning to the end wireless it might be the path that you want to follow it's a very useful tool and you get to learn a lot about the rf science behind everything last but not least i would love to talk about voice engineers any business organization that has a phone system or some type of communication system that you talk to your other employees via cell via whatever it is the voice engineer is who is responsible for that these type of engineers manage sip trunks they manage pods lines and they tend to be very involved with the qos configuration of devices on their network to be honest with you guys voice is one of those areas of network engineering that not as many people are attracted to as the other two that i mentioned in this video and although people are not always attracted to it first it is one of the most important types of network engineering that there is the voice engineers are pretty much responsible of making sure that you are able to communicate with people within your organization. They have to make sure that phone systems don't drop in the middle of meetings and very big business operations. Anytime you hear someone in the organization talking about things like Teams phone, WebEx, Zoom, Nextiva, they're all talking about different types of voice providers. Voice engineering is a very, very focused niche and you will have great impact if you become a voice engineer. 
Although it is intimidating, it is a very impactful niche of network engineering. So now that you have an idea of the three main types of network engineers, the question you might be asking yourself is what type of network engineer do you believe you fit into? If you are anything like me and you like digging into the CLI devices and configuring routes between sites and overall are just very interested in how data flows through a network, then routing and switching might be the path for you. If you are a very hands-on person and like a lot of theory, especially things like RF technology and figuring out ways to make sure that the wireless coverage of a network is optimal and efficient and wireless engineering might be the path for you. If those two things don't excite you as much and you are very interested in how telephony systems work, then a voice engineer is the path for you. The thing that is great about network engineering is that you can always jump into one side of these things and then move into another path. The truth is that most people in network engineering usually start off on the route switch side and then move into these other paths of network engineering. Every good engineer knows a little bit of everything when it comes to wireless, when it comes to routing and switching, and when it comes to voice. And if you've made it this far, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching this video. Personally, myself as a network engineer, I am a route switch guy and I really love the idea of routing and switching but even in my environment, I tend to get my hands dirty with a little bit of wireless and a little bit of voice technology. Some organizations don't have specific people doing every specific job and everybody kind of tag teams in and does every job together. With this video, which is kind of an informational video to help you gauge the different fields that are in network engineering. Like I always tell people, everything runs on the network. So if you can learn and master one of these traits, you will be set up for your career. But anyways, that is it for me in this video. I really do appreciate you all watching this video and staying to the end. If you enjoyed this video, drop a comment and let me know what kind of engineer you want to be. Thank you guys so much for watching and I am out of here.